It's my second favorite thing to do on this cruise. Washy washy! Washy washy! Smiley smiley! Be happy! Happy happy! Smiley smiley! Give it up you guys for Parable!
out. You, you want her to get out? All right, here, come up here. Thank you, guys. Hey, you guys, um, try your very best. I know it's very crowded. Try not to push forward because people are getting hurt up here. Take care of each other out there, all right? She's one of the ones that got there. So. Yeah, thanks for telling me. All right, so tonight, um, we're, we're really excited and, and also a little nervous about tonight because we, we picked songs we haven't played in a while and, and um, some, some which, you know, which we have and we played, played it on the last tour that we just did um, all across the world called the Self-Titled Tour, if you were there, you know. Yes. Um, but uh, we're going to play one of my favorite songs from our first record right now and, and if you know it, sing along. If you don't, enjoy.
actually, I, I stayed behind and, and I like stormed through the ship and I knocked on all of your doors and none of you were there. I'm just saying. I'm actually telling the truth. <laughs> it was a very sad, sad thing. I did run into one girl, um, actually her mom answered the door and she was in the shower and I didn't know really what was going on because it was taking her a really long time to come out and I just, you know, she finally came out. She was so stressed in her clothes and I felt really bad because obviously she wasn't ready to come out yet but um, and then she just looked scared when she saw me. <laughs> I was like, I really ruined her day. But um, anyways, I think this, this cruise, this whole situation that we've had this weekend has been really like something that we've never even imagined before. Thank you guys for taking part in it with us. Um, I hope we do this a thousand times. It was so fun. And I'm not sure how, how really deep I'm getting here, but I just want to say that doing something like this and sort of being crammed all together with people that we have known, some of you since we were 16, 17 years old, it really, oh, I can't tell you how humbling that it is. And some of you meeting you for the first time, this has been such an amazing experience, just having conversations and, uh, and spending time, you know, so thank you guys for that as well. Hope you've had the same experience. All right, we're gonna um, we're gonna sing a song that um, has nothing to do with Twilight at all. <laughs> but it kind of does.
Alright. <laughs> Alright, another one we haven't played in a little while. Uh, this song, uh, we, I, I'll never forget that this, this song started in 2005. That's when it began. That's when it was like just a guitar riff. And um, we were touring with a band from the States, from San Diego, called My American Heart. And um, yeah, yes, represent. Um, and uh, it was our first year on the road, so we, we were learning a lot about ourselves and we were learning a lot about touring and other bands. And my dad was driving us in the van because none of us were old enough. And he would go, Five minutes early is 15 minutes too late. So we would be there three hours before sound check and we would work on this song every day. And it didn't, uh, it didn't come to fruition until right before we went to New Jersey to record our second album, Riot. And, uh, and this song, man, what can I say about it other than what I already said? <laughs> um, it, it really, it, it means a whole lot to, to us and I think lyrically, at the time I was 16 or 17 when we were writing, the, I was writing the lyrics and I still feel these things, you know? I think you, you grow up and you, you know, you, the way that you view yourself in the world changes, but I think your values and your, your core, it, there's something there that never leaves, and this song always reminds me what's important. Um, so, here it is. Hope you like it. Sing along.
much as we played that. I want to say the last time that we toured uh, and played Miracle was like in 2008. Long time. Long time ago. Oh, so thank you for that. Um, moving along. Uh, another song we don't really play that often. Mostly because I always like tell the guys, like, oh, I can't sing that tonight. It's the high notes too high or whatever. <laughs> but um, <laughs> this song is another one that I think, again, like, I don't want to be like preachy about anything or, or anything like that, but I think sometimes like as we grow up, we, we, we start to form our own beliefs and the things that we trust in and the, and the things that are in our heart and our soul, they're deep in our, in our core. We can't really let those things go. And um, there was a time in my life where I felt like I knew what was in here. I, I knew it and I, and I felt it, but um, I felt like maybe if it wasn't there, life would, would be easier. And um, I'm proud to say this, and I, I don't know what you guys believe in. We don't have to believe in the same thing right here today. But uh, I just want to say I'm proud that I moved past the point where I was when we wrote this song. Because it was a very low point. Um, and now, whenever we play it, I don't, feel, I don't feel sad, you know, the way that I did. I feel very strong. And, and, and I don't know, I, I really can't explain it. But, um, this song is just very dear to all of us, and, and lyrically, again, this is another one that I'm so proud of, and I'm so, I don't know, I'm just proud of it. The song is called Turn It Off.
to watch all the other bands and party with them and play games. And this is so cool. Oh my gosh, I love this thing so much, what we're doing. It's, um, it's tonight, actually Maya Taylor's favorite band of all time, Me Without You and playing. I think it's called Stardust Theater. Yes, it is. Yes, we will play Me Without You covers all night if you let us. Um, <laughs> So, uh, I don't know, just again, it's really cool to have so many friends on board. Um, give it up, please, for TK and Sarah. Yeah. Give it up for Carol's Roses. Yeah. Give it up for Shiny Toy Girls. Yeah. Give it up for Bad Rabbits. Yeah. Hey, don't forget Doug Vincent. Yeah. And don't forget. Ruben Give it up. Have you guys been dancing this weekend? Have you been dancing a lot? I, I just want to say, yesterday when I was looking out my window, there was so much dancing going on. It, it felt, it was, it was a little scandalous. I liked it. I enjoyed that. Um, we're going to play, uh, wow, I'm, I'm scared to play this. You're scared too? Justin, how, how do you feel about playing this? I'm terrified. Yeah, I'm terrified too. I don't um, think it's smart <laughs> So, this has been, the last time we played this song, you know what, we might have done this in an acoustic set in 2007, yes, I think we did, um, but really, the last time that I felt like it was a part of our set was in 2005, our first year, when I was in Chapter 2. Um, man, what's going to say? It's, it's scary, I'm scared. Is that alright? You here to support us, catch us in the fall? This song is about the town that we grew up in. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's really crazy because when we wrote it, we were living in Orlando, Florida. We moved there for a good amount of time because um, we got signed to a little label called Feel by Ramen. <laughs> and Orlando was closer to them. So um, when we were away from home, it was really funny because we had never actually been on a proper tour, but we were so homesick and we felt like, oh my God, like the next time we go home, it's going to be in between tours, you know, and it's, it's gonna feel very different than the way that it, it felt before. And, uh, and I, I like made myself really sad about it, which is funny, because all I wanted to do was get away from home and play shows for people and meet people, and here we are now, 2014. Um, and Franklin is still home to Jeremy and I. Taylor lives up the road in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, it's just a great little town. Anyways, here's a song about it. Justin's gonna help me out and sing the choruses.
taking up our time It's taking up our time It's taking up our time Taking up our time It's taking up our time We can't go back We can't go back at all It's taking up our time We can't go back We can't go back at all It's taking up our time We can't go back We can't go back at all It's taking up our time It's taking up our time And you remind me of the time that were once in a journal somewhere and now that you guys, most of you know. Uh, it's so weird. Like, it is so insane still to me. When we started, um, you know, we wrote, Taylor and I wrote one of our first songs together when I was 13 and he was 12. I don't know how that happened. But um, it's, so, it's still weird to me. I'm 25 now and the, 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 the words that are written down in a journal somewhere eventually make it out to here. And, it blows my mind because I know that you get it. I know that you understand where I was coming from when I said those things and how we were feeling. Um, um, I'm being asked to, to ask you if you could all take one step back. Doesn't have to be a giant step. Or just there you go. Yes. All right. Yeah. You got? Is every, every, you guys comfortable? More? Okay. They, they need you to step back just a little bit more. It's pretty smushy up here. There you go. Not in the Jersey Shore kind of way. It's just, it's just crowded. Um, so, all right. You guys think you can deal with that? Are you good? All right, cool. All right. So, um, anyways, it, ju it just blows my mind. I, I think it's insane, and I, and I, we, we all really appreciate that you sing these words back to us every night, and you feel it just as much as we do. Um, I'll never get over it. I think that's insane. The song's called Misguided Ghost. Cause we are just 
misguided ghost Traveling endlessly The ones we trusted the most Push us far away And there's no one road We should not be the same but I'm just a ghost And still they echo me They echo me in We don't either. We don't know what's first either. Jared, why, why are you like, come on? You know, you're just coming out with us. <laughs> we know what that means. <laughs> if you don't remember, it's okay. We'll just sing it acapella when you forget. Want to do this one first? Okay, why don't we ask them one? Okay, say which one you want to hear. Which one which are we? I'm not angry anymore. Oh, well, sometimes I am. I don't think I leave you. Well, sometimes. I was like a punk rock song, just with the ukulele. You wanna do, we should play that, we should play, because I know the song that's gonna come after this, we should play out the three of our songs last. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> just, just hang out. I'm <laughs> sorry, I asked you to come hang out with it. Alright, so, um, you wanna do, uh, moving on? Okay. Sleep on me. Well, I could be angry, but you're not worth the fight. And besides, I'm moving on. I'm counting to ten, and I'm feeling alright. And besides, I'm moving on. Let them play their songs. Let them say what's right and wrong. Let them do their thing, cause it'll never be you and me. We got our own style, we got a way of living life And if they can't get down, well we don't need them around Well I could be angry, but you're not worth the fight And besides, I'm moving on I'm counting to ten and I'm feeling alright Besides, I'm moving you Yes, I'm moving besides,
Don't do that. We're family. We don't do that. All right. Are we gonna are we gonna play this song or what? I'm ready. Let's do it.
played this song a lot on the self-titled tour, and uh, it has remained one of our favorite songs to play, not only just because we like to uh, be selfish, but we really love how you sound when you sing it. So um, let's do this. I want you really, really loud on it, all right?
Well, that was Aaron's favorite. He just wants you guys to know. <laughs> hey, while we're at it, right here, can you please give it up for the man, the legend, Mr. Aaron Gillespie in the drums. <laughs> met Aaron, we were tiny little kiddos, just um, fanning out over his, his nest that he has. Um, and it's just, it's been so, it's such an honor to play with you for the last eight months, however long it's been. Thank you for being with us. Um, can you also please give it up for a friend of ours who, um, like, honestly, we, we started playing with him on the Honda Civic Tour, and, like, I, I just really, I, I, you're awesome. Give it up for Mr. John Howard, right here. <laughs> yeah, <sorry. laughs> Oh my gosh, like, it's just stupid. We're, we're so blessed, we got the best people around us all the time, our whole crew, every, literally, we're just the most, we're just the luckiest. Um, and right over here, this guy. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I actually, I could segue really well from you to this next song, because, um, I, well, first of all, can you please give it up for Mr. Justin York right here? <laughs> Tell you guys a really uh, I'll tell you a quick story I am um, I moved to Franklin Tennessee when I was 12 and, um, and and I shortly after after pretty much being bullied out of public school I ended up meeting Jeremy and we started um, I, I, we started playing together but he was in like a funk cover band and I joined that so just imagine like 16 year olds and under playing Shaka Khan every night it was great <laughs> It was really, it, it shouldn't have happened, I don't know how it worked, but it did. Um, and then shortly after that, I ended up meeting uh, some guys at school and a youth group at church, um, Taylor being one of them, and um, I, I wanted to be in their band so bad, I thought they were the coolest, and, and I was kind of like intimidated every time I would see them in the halls or wherever we would be, that I, I met Taylor at a football game, actually. The, well, how, sixth grade, you were, I was in seventh? You were in seventh, I was in eighth. Um, and, uh, <laughs> and so anyways, I wanted to be in that band so, so bad. It was so cool to me. And finally, it happened. They were like, yo, you wanna come ride with us? And, and all I had, I had like, um, I had my mom's old desktop computer and it had like all my poems on it. And I'd be like, mom, get out of my room of writing. You know, like, it's very, very emo. And, um, and I, I would listen to like Thursday and Deftones. We would, we would all like, that was our stuff, you know? And um, I went over and I knew all I had was one poem that I had written and, um, and, and it didn't make really any sense to me at the time. I just thought I'm going to bring this over to the York's house because we were going to practice in our basement. And um, we started working and, and I, I didn't have a melody. I just started singing to this song we're about to play for you. And Justin was there. Justin was in the basement as we were writing this song. He was helping us like figure out how to make it sound good, you know, because he was in a band too at the time. We were like, we just worshipped them. And um, it's it's extra bizarre that we're playing this tonight and we've never played this together um, since you were in that basement with us in like 2002 or 3 back then. Um, that's over 10 years ago you guys. What is happening? Where is time? So uh, needless to say this song is, is very important. It is the genesis of Paramore. It is the very beginning of where like it's it's our I don't know it's where we came from and we're gonna play it for you right now. It's called Conspiracy.
Did anybody um, in the dark ages of Paramore, did anybody pick up the Singles Club vinyl? <laughs> and, um, and was that cool? How was that for you? Good experience? Good. Um, the Singles Club was, was uh, such a, a rebirth for us, and it's where, is that, what, do you want me to take this? Is this a hat? You know I'm going to wear it. I just sit on top like this? Okay, take a picture and then I gotta take it off. It's gonna cut my circulation off. Did you get it? <laughs> okay. Wow, that's actually really, that hurts my brain. Um, so, when we released the Singles Club, we, um, we were, well, all we were trying to do was show ourselves that, that, um, that we could still write songs together. Um, even though we had, we were kind of like down two players and it felt like, uh, we, we were just in the middle of, of a storm. It really sucked, to be honest with you. And what we found out really quick after releasing the Singles Club and, and, and getting these tattoos on our wrists was that we were stronger than ever, not only that, but you guys were supporting us more than ever. And it felt, I cannot explain to you what that felt like. I could cry just talking about it. Um, today I was, uh, this morning, I don't know, you guys maybe don't know this because I had to wake up kind of early, but um, I woke up and I, like today, this morning, I went to the nail spa and got a manicure with uh, a girl who's been to a lot of our shows, her name is Jamie, are you up there? Yeah, she's up there somewhere? Okay. Jack, it's hard to see with the lights, but we were sitting there and um, the coolest thing was when the woman who was uh, like fixing my nails, <laughs> that's called a manicurist, oh, and she was looking at us and she saw this tattoo on me and then she saw it on Jamie and she was like, are you in the band? Like, to Jamie. And I was like, yes, that's exactly what we wanted. I was like, yes, she is. She is Paramore. She is it. She's, this is exactly what we meant it to be. And every time that we see you with this drawn all over you, or drawn on a flag, or you're wearing it, or it, you have no idea what that symbol just, you do know what it means actually, and that's what makes it so great. You get it, and uh, it just, it's been amazing. So this is a song from the Singles Club that we love to play. It's called Hello Cold World. Freedom, what you 
after parties and that's just it's just an iPod. I go over to his house one night to see the baby and stuff. Oh give it up for baby bliss. Yay. What a miracle. Oh she's so pretty. Um so I go over there to like hang out. <laughs> it's not it's not even just like a DJ set. It is a DJ setup. It is like the most I mean he doesn't just do anything halfway and everything is the right way. So be there, be square, it's going to be really fun. And oh, and don't forget to wear white, right? Because everything's going to glow. It's going to be very pretty. So a lot of cool things happening tonight. Maybe we'll see you around those things. I'll uh, play another song for you.
Thank you very much.